style. I don't know <laughs> how that works. Well, this is exciting. You're here on a very big night. This is our salute to alcohol. And <laughs> Wait, do you hear that? To celebrate this very special occasion, we've decided to serve beer to the audience. Yeah. yeah. you guys weren't here last week when he when we did our salute to douche yeah yeah that, that didn't work out a lot of guys couldn't hold it down no it know? was a mess it was a total mess but with so much talk about the evils of alcohol we thought it might be nice to point out some of the good things uh, for instance if it wasn't for alcohol i wouldn't have kids in <laughs> it's true in fact i might still be a virgin <laughs> Yeah, alcohol does have a lot of fringe benefits. Uh, blackouts, bar fights, hangovers, projectile vomiting, non-consensual homosexual sex. I mean, the list goes on and on. Think about this. Without alcohol, what would alcoholics drink? Good point. Very you know, bad. I was drunk when I took my SATs, and I'm not kidding either. I figured, listen, I'm going to drink all through college. It's only fair I'm on the, drunk on the test to get in. Uh, I, I didn't go to college. I went right to work in the fast-paced, lucrative world of carpet cleaning. <laughs> if I had it all to do over again, though, I think I'd be a bartender. I mean, that is a great gig. You get, you get paid in cash. Every guy is your pal. Uh, you get to take home whatever girl's left at the end of the night. Right. Right? Like, a, like a doggy bag. All right. Even better. You know, those, you get those tiny little onions and swords for free. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah. That's the job for me. That's why when we got the chance to uh, ten bar for a night at a bar called Turtle Bay in New York City, Adam and I absolutely flipped. We did. <laughs> Undercover bartenders, take a look. I'm Guy. I'm Steve with a PH. Stoyo! Stoyo! Do we shower? Do we shower? Seven. That's nothing wrong with this one. You want me to jack in seven? I can jack in six. A jack in five. A uh, jack in four. Let's go, folks. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be cheap either. We get off a little later. You want another drink? Come on, ladies. Get drunk. Drink up. We'll take you home out sex with you. <laughs> That for you. Use the hand sieve. Hand sieve. You go with the cubes again. <laughs> hand sieve. Hand sieve. Orange. And amaretto.
enjoy. Absolutely cannot beat that. This is the Man Show. We're going to mix ourselves a few drinks. We will be right back and good and drunk when we return. <laughs> The Man Show presents What Would Adam Do? Your girlfriend takes you to a party to introduce you to her friends. People have been drinking for hours. There is only one bathroom. You really have to take a whiz, but the bathroom's locked. Should you A, wait politely until the bathroom is available, or B, pound on the bathroom door? What would Adam do? tonight, and I'm pretty sure there isn't, it's that beer is beloved all over the world. With that in mind, please enjoy the following fake advertisement. You love your animal buddies. Oh, you also love a nice cold beer. Don't your dogs and cats deserve the same pleasure you get from beer? Introducing Hunbrau and Katzenbrau, the beer brewed just for pets. Hey, Snoop Dogg, try the 40. <laughs> Hoon Brown and Captain Brown. Crisp, clean, ball licking beer. Isn't that right, Alki? <laughs> Good boy. Hoon Brown and Captain Brown remind you not to drink and drive with your head out the window. You can drink when you're three. That's right. Let me tell you, if I had my nuts cut off, I would want to drink too. Go get yourself a couple of shots. In a minute, we're going to be back with a very special presentation Drunken Airline Pilots. It's hard hitting. It's the man show. special man show. Our no star salute to alcohol. That's right. You know, a little while back, Adam and I dressed as airline pilots. 
went to the airport and got very, very intoxicated. And we sent so many travelers into a panic, we decided to do it again. And here it is, drunken pilots. I think you drunk. You drunk? <laughs> yep. Ugh, it smells. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Back in your seatbelts, because we are going to rock. You know, you're not flying Qantas Flight 100 to Melbourne, are you? No, 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 I'm not flying that one. You know, my buddy Frank is flying that one. Oh, uh, Frank's flying it. Where's Frank? Uh, Frank. Frank. Frank couldn't fly a bus. That's true. Frank couldn't fly a bus. All you got to do is you got to take off, and you got to land, yeah. and then the in-between stuff. In -between. And that's what, it. Frank? No Frank at the... Pull back on the throttle. He'll be fine. Where are you guys going? Uh, Hawaii. Hawaii? Nice. I'll, I hope when you're in Hawaii you get laid. <laughs> <laughs> you guys been to Hawaii before? Yeah. That's the Aloha State. Oh, hey, it's not. Hope you get laid in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a French fry? Dang. Hey, let's go. Dang. You want some of this? You want some? Hey, ladies, how you doing? I didn't think so. I am drunk. I am drunk. That's why I can't fly the plane. I am. I'm not. Listen, will you tell this guy I'm too drunk to fly the plane? And tell this guy how drunk I am. He's, Hello? And, uh, oh, so he's drunk. Uh, no, like my brother, yeah. So I don't know. So uh, he just uh, you know ask tell him you know tell yeah. him to you know, he's drunk. I am drunk. Tell huh? him I'm drunk because I am drunk. I don't know. So I, I let I let you in the top game. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, 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 oh, thank you. Oh no no no! Thank Come on, man. Come on. We're hoping to be the first TV show fined by the FAA. <laughs> F the FAA! Damn That's right. what I say. That's right. When we get back, Q&A and Girls on Trampolines. It's the man show. <laughs> now a time in NBA, rumor go around that a lot of players smoking on marijuana. And Carl Malone had to say that a lot of players do smoke in pot. And that, that's a dang thing, because Carl Malone think this here. NBA playing a job. That's Carl Malone's job. How in the hell are you supposed to do job when your head floating around like chicken chong? <laughs> now, maybe Snoop Diggy Dog can do rapping songs with a marijuana head, but NBA player got to give 102% every time they go out on court. That's why Carl Malone say to new teammates coming in on Utah Jazz, you going to smoke grass? Carl Malone gonna kick ass. And that scared the hell out of them dudes, because Carl Malone elbows big and hard. Remember this here, if you can't take pain, stay off Mary Jane. And that one rhymed too. That's why Carl Malone love it. Until next time, this here Carl Malone. And now, the man show salutes Hot Wings. Each year, four billion tiny chickens sacrifice their ability to fly so that we can eat their tender wings. Both way too spicy and way too hot, Hot Wings make sure we always drink too much beer, keeping taverns in business, giving us somewhere to go besides home and work. You've earned your wings, Hot Wings, and that's why the Man Show salutes you. Time for the Q&A. Well, we've been talking a lot about alcohol in this program, and uh, we figure why not keep it going with some uh, alcohol-specific Q&A. And um, George from Pennsylvania is our first question asker. Where is George from Pennsylvania? Oh, hey, George. Hey. It's an interesting question. What is the best drinking city in the U.S.? The best drinking city. Uh, Milwaukee's a good drinking right, city. Good beer city. Right. 
St. Louis, excellent. Oh, we've been I think, there. though, for my money, uh, my hometown of Las Vegas is the best. Uh, yeah, be drink. Because, well, number one, you can drink for free, pretty much, if you're gambling. <laughs> yeah. Number two, the two words you never hear in Las Vegas. Ever, anybody know? Close last, last call. Last call, that's right. All right. That's right. So I, th I would go Las Vegas. Uh, uh, the two words I never hear is black jack. <laughs> 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 I heard it in the parking lot once. It was just, it's just, a black guy named Jack, though. It's very out. disturbing. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jeff Dobbs. Where's Jeff Dobbs? Yeah. yeah. You, uh, the guy next to you is a fan of Jeff's? <laughs> um, Jeff asks, what kind of foods can I eat before drinking to make vomiting more enjoyable? <laughs> I've given this some thought. That's a great question. You, first off, well, you don't want to spend too much. Like, you don't want to get surf and turf or something if you're just going to hack it out 20 minutes later. So you go, you go cheap. Mexican is nice. Yeah, I don't know, though. I don't know if I agree with you, because if you think of it this way, it's like you're going to be enjoying that meal twice. You right. might as well get something good. It's almost like you're getting it for half price. Right. So I personally would go with the steak and the lobster, whereas Adam would put a few burritos down. Right. right. All right. I you figure. Yeah. Your dog's probably going to get a meal out of it, too. So, yeah. At <laughs> some point, too. Yeah, well, you, don't, you, you don't have to bring that home in a bag. <laughs> uh, Jim Banach. Where's Jim Banach? Oh, hey. What's, what's going on with you guys? Bachelor party here? What's that? Bachelor party? Absolutely. Yeah, this knucklehead behind me here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jim asks, when I drink too much, I call my boss to tell him what I really think of him. <laughs> is this a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> and this is, this is not a great idea. And by the way, let me just pass that along to our staff here. Um, if you have an idea, a comment, or a complaint about me, Adam, or really anyone above you on the staff, the, the party after the show is not the best place to do it. No, no. Uh, we have so many drunken slobs. You know what I love about you guys? You guys, are, you know, you hang your real guys. Not Jim. like that asshole Arsenio I used to work with. <laughs> Jimmy, that last call Malone sucked. Yeah. Oh, really? What didn't you like about it? Weak! <laughs> Yeah, we prefer not to hear your honesty, but uh, you I can't help. You just take the phone out of the bedroom. That's what I would recommend. And uh, the staff, keep your comments to yourselves. Uh, John Smith, if that is your real name. Where are you, John? Yeah. That's got to be your real name, right? Oh, yeah. John says, when I get beer goggles, I begin to like men. Can you help? <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't beer goggles, they're beer gaggles, is what they are. <laughs> what kind of men do you like, John? Uh, maybe we can help you out here. There's a lot of... <laughs> you, like a... you like someone bald? Someone whose smooth head you could rest your nuts on from behind? <laughs> really, the guys really... <laughs> the guys really start looking attractive after a few beers? No, no, one of your idiot friends wrote your name on this card, right? right. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> All right, and um, let's see, uh, Larry Fretz. Larry Fretz, where's Larry? So, oh, hey, Larry, how you doing? Wow. <laughs> the guy, uh, there you go. Johnny Ball Coaster. <laughs> We just met your boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Larry asks, why when stopped by police does everyone say they only had two beers? I, I always think it's because if you say one beer, they know you're goddamn lying. Right. If you say three, they just arrest you right there. So right. Two, two sounds like a happy balance. I just say, you know what, I had about 100 beers, but o over the course of the summer. I don't right. know when I had this one, that one. I don't break it up that way. Raise it for the man show toast, if you would. Ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy, oi, oi. And now, girls, jump in on trampoline.
Go Zuna!